I thought I was done. I honestly thought I was done. But apparently, every time I'm done making a video on feminism, another one pops up. <coughs> and I have to say that this video, uh, I, I managed to find, thanks to Sparky Fister, um, this person, you know, I, I believe she made a collab video with Mr. Repsion. She is apparently, su get, get this, supporting Ban Bossy. <sighs> you and your fucking cockatoo. You know, I thought you were cool until, until you made that video. Not cool. Just not cool. So let's just get it over with. So for those of you that also missed it, in short, Ban Bossy is an online campaign that brings awareness to the fact that women who are perhaps more assertive and our leaders are often branded as being bossy. Or perhaps the more adult label of such is bitchy. Now, women being called bossy for being assertive or in leadership positions really isn't new at all. Uh, so I do think that this campaign does a fabulous job at bringing that fact to light, especially since overall women, all in all, disproportionately so, are more likely to be labeled bossy uh, than men when they're pursuing these kinds of roles. So hey, yay, that's a yay for awareness. Okay. Um, let's just say for a fact that, okay, yeah, sure. Women are more likely to be called bossy than men. Fine, let's just put that aside. Because you are making, a, you know, supporting a campaign that's trying to get rid of a certain word from the dictionary towards women, you have shown that you are weak, stupid, and pathetic. To me, what you're saying is this. I want to be le a leader, but I cannot handle any form of criticism. So, instead of, you know, toughing up or choosing not to be a leader, instead, I will tell you right now, as your leader, that you have no right to criticize me whatsoever. You're not to question my motives. You're not to question anything that I say or do. And if you do, then you are worse than scum. That is what you are saying right now. But the downside of this campaign really boils down to this. It has unintentionally caused the focus of the entire campaign uh, to center around the word bossy and not the larger cultural issues at play. And I certainly haven't seen anywhere in their literature from my research yet uh, that calls for the outright ban of use of the word bossy. Although I will acknowledge that the founder of the campaign, Sheryl Sandberg, um, had really encouraged elimination of use of the word. Um, but at the same time, she also acknowledged that the word in itself is not responsible for the larger cultural issues and that it's just kind of this symptom of the actual problem. Well, it doesn't matter if you're trying to change the word or trying to ban the word against feminists or women in general. The fact that you are saying that you break down easily and you still want to lead by, by just, you break down easily from a simple word, whatever is the word bossy, bitchy, asshole, fuckface, whatever. There are two things that you got to do in order for you to be, in order to solve this problem. One, don't be a leader. You're not meant to be a leader. You are a weakling. And two, toughen up. If you want to be a leader, you got to act tough. And you shouldn't really care much on whether or not people say that you are bossy or bitchy. Those are words. Don't let it hunt you. But not try to tell people that they should not tell you what you are. That's against freedom of speech. This is discrimination towards both men and women. 
I mean, imagine if Barack Obama tells people that no one has the right to criticize him because he's black. You know, no one is allowed to say that Barack Obama is a bad president because he can't, he, he can't stand the word bad or terrible or horrible president. Imagine that. Would you support that cause? No, of course you wouldn't, because you're a woman. And I'm not saying this as an insult to your gender. I'm, in, you know, I'm saying this because I'm insulting your IQ. So what do I think about Bam Bossy? Well, um, I think it's great that it is raising awareness of this issue. Uh, but at the same time, I don't think it's going to help the larger problem. Um, so you can teach women or young girls leadership skills and so on and so forth, but this isn't really going to change until we see leadership and assertiveness and so on and so forth as desirable traits in women and not just in men. So because apparently us men are been we've been telling women that they cannot be leaders because they have a vagina. Yeah, that's there's there's no women out there that wants to be a quote unquote leader. Yeah, fuck you. So should we ban bossy? Well, not necessarily. Let's not ban the word, but let's try and shift the culture and make the word bossy, if anything, in itself less gender specific, and shift the culture to value leaderships leadership traits in women as well as in men because apparently no man in the world has been ever called bossy yes once again fuck you the word bossy was never really gender specific in the first place because men get called bossy as well maybe maybe you're right about the part that women do get called bossy more often than men but it doesn't change the fact that men do in fact get called bossy. And not consider leadership this kind of solely masculine thing. Now, I want to know what you guys think. I've left a few links below for like two or three articles that I liked. There's an ABC article with an interview with Sheryl Sandberg, the link to the Bam Bossy campaign, actually a link from Skeptic that has some criticisms of uh, Bam Bossy, and I forget where the last one's from. Anyway, check it out. Let me know your thoughts on this. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm not really super pro beyond the awareness thing or con ban bossy. Um, so let me know your thoughts. Otherwise, if you want to talk to me about ban bossy and anything else, really, I'll be live for church this Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific time on this channel. So I hope to uh, see you guys there. Until then, I'll enjoy reading your comments and follow me on the Twitter. Well, I wish I could be a part of that, but sadly, I gotta work on Sundays. Usually on my videos, but I just can't go to the library, upload my videos there. I just wish I had internet at home so I can, you know, join in the chat and who knows, maybe even debate you. But maybe this video will get across to you. Maybe, just maybe. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.